takes after his dad. <laughs> well, there goes my appetite. Now Ken's telling everyone we're a couple, and I still don't know how to kiss. Ricky, my boy, you've come to the right acting teacher. I, Crispin Armstrong Trot, once had to kiss Dame Edith Fogsworth during a production of Romeo and Juliet, despite the fact that she was four weeks into an all onion and garlic diet. Ew, gross! Gross indeed. But when faced with a seemingly impossible task, one must do what every professional actor does. Hide in the bathroom? No. Research! Research? How do you research kissing? You start with the classics, my boy. Mm. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, ew! Oh no! Oh. That's it! I can't take any more! Kiss and tell! Kiss and tell me later! The kissinator? The longest kiss? Ugh. Okay, now that I know how to kiss underwater, and on Mars, I guess I have to rehearse. But with who? Ethel! Ethel! <laughs> no, really bad idea. Ethel, Mommy's finished sewing your new dress! Hmm. Ethel, honey, do you know where my dummy is? Dad's in the garage, Ricky's in his room. Take your pick. Shucks, girl. You stood by me when my barn burned down and the river flooded. When my cattle got rustled and my dog got the fever. Someday, I'm gonna give you the moon. But for now, all this poor cowpoke can give you is this. Wow. Hey, that doesn't look like it. Whoa, check out the curse on that mystery girl. This could be the start of a beautiful relationship. Leonard, have you seen this? Ricky Smooch's mystery miss at Sprocket Mansion? I think it's time you and Ricky had a father-son talk. Uh, you want me to have the talk with Ricky? No, not the talk. A talk! Oh, right. Young man, you have some explaining to do. Mystery, miss? Aww. Uh, just a minute, Dad! Come in. We need to have a father-to-son talk. Uh, we do? Yes! Your mother insists on it. <clears throat> now, Ricky, uh, uh, playing the field may, may seem like fun at first. But a girl like this who rolls into town, passing from one boy to the next, always on the rebound, well, she's just not the kind of girl you bring home to mother. Dad, you don't have to worry about her. She's just some airhead. Well, dating airheads is a whole other discussion, uh, which we'll save for another night. I can't wait. Oh, man, I really can't do this. You'll be fine. Ricky, they're ready for you on set. And don't forget, the minute you hear cut, hit the mouthwash. Got it. Thanks. You stood by me when my bar burned down and the river flooded. When my cattle got rustled and my dog got the fever. Someday I'm gonna give you the moon, but for now, all this poor cowpoke can give you is this. How dare you two-time me with some round-headed mystery chick! Whoa! Oh, that's it! I'm never kissing him! Phew. Hey, can I get that in writing? Listen, kid. People are coming to the theater to see you kiss at the end of a movie. I want to see you kiss. Or you can kiss your career goodbye. 